So, Dr. Bronstein, how often and for how long would I need to receive radiation therapy for it to be effective? It varies based upon what the tumor type is. There's many different types of tumors and they can exist in many different locations. So for the different tumor types, for the different locations, there are protocols, which are essentially established pathways that prescribe different doses and different durations of treatment uh, based upon the specific of each patient's disease. So it's not uncommon that different patients are going to get very different treatment courses. Sometimes it's as little as a single session of radiation. Sometimes it's given over a few days. And sometimes it's given over a few weeks. We are going into a radiation center every day, generally during the week, Monday through Friday, for a period of six or seven weeks and getting a treatment each day. And it really depends upon those very specific factors about each patient's uh, disease, tumor type, and location. One really common question that we got was, will I need to stay in the hospital for radiation therapy? So generally, no. Radiation therapy, for the most part, is done as what we call an outpatient type of procedure, where you would show up to the radiation treatment center and you would get checked in at the front desk like you would for any appointment. And then you would go to the machines, which are in the radiation treatment center, and get your treatment. Most of the treatments will last just a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes or so. So they're pretty quick. Once you get on the machine and you get situated on that machine and we're ready to do the treatment, the treatments are very quick. So after the treatment's done, then you would probably go home after that. So the actual visits can be relatively short. There just may be many of them over the treatment course where you're going in every day for a, a number of weeks. But most treatments are done just like that in the outpatient setting. But sometimes radiation is given while someone is in the hospital. And they may be in the hospital because uh, they have some symptom or uh, some other medical issue that requires them to be in the hospital. And we can give radiation while the patients are in the hospital. Sometimes as part of that treatment protocol where we're combining radiation with surgery or chemotherapy, a patient may be getting IV chemotherapy in the hospital and we may need to do radiation at the same time. So the, the patient would be in the hospital getting their chemotherapy. And then at some point during the day, they'd be scheduled to come down to the radiation center, which is attached to the hospital usually, and get their treatment. And it would still be just a few minutes and then go back to their hospital room afterwards. But most treatments are done in the outpatient setting. After treatment, many kids wanted to know if there are any restrictions as to what they can do. And if so, when can they get back to doing these normal activities? So that also depends upon the nature of what's being treated. It depends upon uh, what kind of side effects they may be having from radiation. I would say in general, within a few weeks from completing your course of radiation, a, a patient can go out and uh, resume their, their normal activities, normal, normal school, normal play. Um, there's often not many restrictions uh, when, when, uh, when it comes to radiation. However, many patients may not just be getting radiation, but also may be having a surgery or be getting chemotherapy. And sometimes it's not the radiation that pr produces the restrictions, but it's the combination of everything. So after a surgery, you may be limited in the activities you can do for some time until your body heals. During chemotherapy, depending upon the nature of the chemotherapy, you may be more sensitive to infections uh, for some time, and that may require um, taking some special precautions uh, and, and restricting what activities you can do. So for the most part, after a few weeks following radiation, people can go back to their normal activities. Um, 
but it's really decided on a patient by patient basis. I'll also say that often during the course of radiation, patients can participate in normal activities. Many patients may be doing school and just missing a little bit of school to come up for, for the radiation appointments, but they can continue their, their school activities. They can continue many of their sports and play as long as they're feeling well and not having significant side effects. So uh, it, it often doesn't take too long to recover from a radiation course. Thank you so much, Dr. Bronstein, for joining us.